Hello, thanks everybody. Uh, we're excited to be here talking about marketplace payments. Uh, we are Forte Payments. My name is Craig Rainey. I'm in strategic partner sales. So I'm the sales guy here. So take what I say with a grain of salt. But you want to talk to, you want to listen to my associate, Mathun Patel. Um, he's uh, the smart one here. And feel free to connect with us on Twitter or the old fashioned way. We'd love it if you guys stopped by the booth and, and chatted as well. So a uh, little bit about Forte. Probably a few of you have heard about Forte. The majority probably have not. Um, but we're kind of working behind the scenes with our partners. We do um, a, lot of, a lot of processing. Um, if you have possibly paid a, a property tax bill online or your gym membership goes through a monthly recurring, there's a chance that that could have gone through the Forte payment gateway. Um, we have been around since 98. And one of our first big customers was PayPal. We actually processed all of their ACH and e-check transactions for the first two years of their existence. So, um, you know, if they called us nowadays for some assistance, we'd definitely take that one. But we do process 19 billion um, transactions, or 19 billion in transactions per year. That's ACH, that's uh, credit card as well. We've got over 27,000 merchants. And uh, kind of our biggest go-to-market strategy is uh, we do hook up with ISVs and VARs, uh, software developers such as yourselves, and they utilize us to kind of isolate them from touching that sensitive cardholder data. And then Forte does a lot of the heavy lifting as well, where uh, we take care of the underwriting, we take care of uh, the customer care, and again, we isolate them from touching that, that cardholder data and some nice rev share opportunities as well. Um, but today we are talking about marketplace payments. Um, we want to create uh, a use case scenario here. And uh, what we're going to do is use Forte's technology to solve for this use, use case. So what we want to do is we're going to come up with the next big transportation company. So we're going to compete with uh, Uber and Lyft in this scenario. And we're going to use uh, Forte's technology to do that. Um, so kind of the, the focus, the, the goal of this scenario is we want to focus on connecting riders with drivers. We want to make that a, a seamless, beautiful experience. Um, we also want to alleviate a lot of the, uh, the hurdles that go into payments. So we want to take care of the collecting, the funding, we want to take care of the data security, the tokenization of that payment. And of course, um, the big thing here is, is we want to scale. Uh, Forte is going to uh, going to be kind of our, our leader in marketplace payments, and they're going to give us the tools we need. Uh, they're going to give us uh, the reporting capabilities, transparent pricing, and uh, application APIs to work with to accomplish this. So, we want to make it to that uh, Trace Commas Club, right? We want to. We think this is going to be our, our billion-dollar idea. Um, so, Mathun and I were kicking around use case scenarios, and we think, uh, we think we're on to something here. We might just take this thing live uh, for profit. So, without further ado, I present to you Duber. So, with Duber, uh, this is going to be the most fun, exciting transportation company out there. Uh, we think we're going to carve ourselves a nice little, uh, a nice little niche. We're going to appeal to the consumer that wants to, uh, as our tagline says, take the high road home. And of course, Duber is going to be a green company. Um, how are we going to do that? How are we going to compete with uh, the juggernauts like Uber and Lyft? Um, for Duber, we are going to provide our riders, when they enter the vehicle, we're going to provide them with their choice of uh, flaming hot Cheetos or nacho cheese Doritos for the trip. And whether they like it or not, we are going to stop at every single White Castle and Jack in the Box on their destination. So uh, we think they'll appreciate that. And also kind of our, our ace in the hole is our partner, Forte Payments. Uh, Forte Payments is going to give us the, the tools we need to scale and get to that Trace Commas Club. So traditional versus, uh, versus marketplace model, what's the difference? So in that traditional model, um, that merchant information, the, uh, the customer information is owned by the merchant. Um, and it's more of a kind of a one to many approach. You can see in this slide here, the, the customers are kind of siloed under each merchant. That, uh, that merchant is going to sell their products and services directly to that customer. Uh, and that's, that, that's more of the traditional model. 
in the marketplace model, it's more of a more of a one to many. It's more hierarchical than the uh, flatter traditional model. So in this scenario, we're going to introduce submerchants, um, and these submerchants are going to the, the the customer data is still going to be stored with still stored with the merchant, um, but then that data that token is going to be shareable through each of the submerchants. So a little bit different in our scenario, Duber is going to be the merchant of record. And then we're going to be able to have submerchants or drivers in this case and shareable tokens of the customers. You can see uh, in the cloud, we've got uh, Snoop, we've got McConaughey, and I think that's Jay from our marketing department. <laughs> so um, with uh, the, the, the Duber experience, with uh, the setup here, we can go through kind of a, a real world example of how this works, how this looks. So we'll have, uh, we'll have Snoop Dogg, he'll be coming into Colorado and uh, he's not coming there to ski, he wants to go sample the local wares. And he's going to go ahead and, uh, he's heard good things about Duber, so he's gonna download that Duber app. And now he's gonna go ahead and enter his customer information into that app. Uh, that, that payment information, customer info is gonna be tokenized by Forte, we're gonna store that in the Forte data vault and then uh, that'll be associated with that Duber merchant ID. From there, uh, Snoop will go ahead, he'll request a ride, and he's gonna go hit the town with, uh, with driver A, he's gonna, he's gonna get there. So once he finishes up his uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos probably, um, he'll go to make that payment, and this is where things get interesting, and uh, Mathun's gonna kinda run through this, and. In his demo here, he's gonna show you the, the guts of the RESTful API calls. Um, but from here, Forte, uh, the, the, actual, the actual driver's account is gonna be the account that charges Snoop, and then Forte will go ahead and pass along a convenience fee here, and that's gonna be a portion of the overall ride that Duber is going to keep. So that could be 3%, uh, 4%, that could be a um, dollar plus 2.3%, whatever that calculation is, that's gonna be stored in the Forte system. And, uh, and that way Forte can then pay out, uh, can pay out Duber and the driver kind of all in one fail swoop. So once, uh, once Snoop's done hitting the town, he'll go ahead and, and request another ride to get home, this time from driver B. Still the same company, still the same sub-merchant, um, but this time it's going to be, um, it's going to be under a second driver and we'll still use that same shared token. Um, so that's him paying for the, the second ride. And now I'd like to go ahead and, and pass it over to Mathun to kind of show a demo here of, of how this thing looks. All right, thanks Craig. Uh, let's jump right in. Um, so we have a um, iOS app simulator up here, and when Snoop downloads the app, all he needs to do is register for our service. And I just had a shortcut to fill out all of the information. When he, when, when he, when he signs up, what happens is, All of his information is passed on, on to Forte, and Forte basically tokenizes his payment information, his address information, and the customer information. <clears throat> so what Duber essentially needs on their end is just the customer token and payment token to be saved, basically eliminating any sort of uh, um, uh, PCI footprint. So when... Uh, Snoop is ready to request a ride. All he does is request a ride. Once he reaches, he is going to be charged $42. And this time, it's the submerchant driver A who's charging him. But when you look at the restful calls at the back, it's the same customer token that Duber saved on their servers, along with this payment token that gets passed. And upon approval, the uh, Duber gets uh, funded 1.26, which is 3% of the total charge, and the rest of the amount actually goes to the driver. So what happens, uh, the exact same thing happens when he requests the second ride on the way back home. It's just that at this point of time, it's a different merchant, it's a different driver, or rather a different sub-merchant, and when he charges, and the same exact thing happens in the back end, it's the only thing that uh, differs between the two, 
is that this time around there's a different merchant ID being passed. So this merchant gets 3% deducted and the 3% goes towards Duber and the rest of the amount actually goes to uh, the driver himself. So our RESTful APIs are pretty flexible. They let you do all your transactions and tokenize payments, but we also have APIs to request settlement data. So here we have a quick settlement data uh, RESTful call, which uh, do, uh, some Duber uh, developer could run every month or every week or every day just to get all of the settlement information, and that basically shows us uh, how many rights uh, that were requested, how much uh, settlement amount, what were the settlement amounts, and how much Duber actually gets on each right of, from, from the customers. So that's uh, as straightforward as our RESTful APIs are. And with that, I'm going to hand it back to Craig here. OK, thanks, Mathun. Let me jump over to this one, but uh, basically at, at Forte, we unabashedly, we love developers, we love getting these um, different projects, hearing about different things that people come to us with. So it doesn't matter if it's uh, you know a new SaaS program, uh, a new app, uh, Android, iOS, uh, some kind of a, an e-com project, telephone, IVR, um, whatever, it's kind of worth Looking into with us um, at the end of at the end of the day, our CEO Jeff Thornis, he's a he's a coder at heart, so he gets involved with a lot of these projects, and we kind of go down different rabbit holes depending on kind of who we're talking to. Um, but we'd love to hear what uh, kind of projects you guys have had, and and uh, if you guys have anything in the pipeline, and then of course if there's just any questions on the payment industry in, in general, we're we're happy to help out where we can. And with that. Um, that is pretty much the, the end of the presentation, but we do have some, uh, some, some munchies, some snacks for you guys if you stop by the booth. Um, nothing illegal, but we do have the Doritos and nacho, nacho cheese Doritos and flaming Cheetos for you, along with some shirts. So love to talk to you guys, and, and thanks a lot. We'd open it up for questions if we got a couple minutes, or definitely come and stop by the booth. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.